Hey there, my name is Matthew Peterson. I'm a trainer at Pragmatic Works, where we do all kinds of things from on-demand learning, virtual mentoring, hackathons, private trainings. Uh, and so for this week, what I want to bring to you is how you can bring in custom visuals into your Power BI reports. Now, Power BI is great in the fact that it has a lot of visuals already pre-baked into the program. And depending upon what version of Power BI you're running, uh, what preview features you have turned on, uh, you could have at your hands already anywhere between 30 to 30 some odd different visuals. However, sometimes you want something a little bit different. You want to get some custom visuals from outside developers to bring into your report. And there's two different ways to bring those visuals in. You can do it straight from the Power BI desktop, or you can go out to the web at AppSource and search for them there. And so I just want to show you how to bring in that custom visual, how to use them. Uh, and I'm going to highlight a really fun visual that I like. I was in my former career, I was a teacher. Uh, and if I would have had the, the access to Power BI, this would have been one of the visuals I would have used for my students. I think this would be a really cool visual if you want to use it uh, for any of like maybe your internal reports, maybe some competitions that you're doing with your teams um, or departments. So without any further ado, let's go on over and see how to bring in these custom visuals. So what you see right here is I just have a competition that I would normally do with my students where uh, my students would get uh, points or what I called Peterson pesos for doing uh, positive things or they would get pesos taken away for doing negative things. And so right now, all I'm doing is showing this in a table not that visually appealing, not that fun for my, my kids, my students. So I'm going to go out and get a custom visual to make this a little bit more fun and a little bit more interactive. So the first way that we can bring in a custom visual is we can go on over into the visualizations pane and we're going to click on this ellipses right here. Let me come back on in. We'll click on this ellipses and this will allow us to bring in more visuals. So after we click on it, we're going to say, I want to get more visuals. And when we click on that, we're going to be brought up with our basically our, our window for bringing in custom visuals. Now, a few things to note here. <clears throat> As we are looking at these visuals, it defaults to all custom visuals. Uh, and it has a default sort by recommended. Uh, you can sort it by the rating, name, release date, etc. And you might be noticing that some of these visuals, and right now all of mine, have this blue check mark which means they are Power BI certified. It means they have gone through some kind of vetting process through the Power BI developers saying everything is good to go, performance is great, no security issues, etc. Some of your custom visuals will not have that blue check mark. Doesn't mean you can't use them, it just means that either it didn't pass the certification of the Power BI developers or just it hasn't gone through that certification process yet. So as we are taking a look, you might have been, you might have heard from someone at your organization that they really enjoy one of the visuals uh, and they've told you the name of it. And so what we could do is we could search for that custom visual right here. Now here's one of the gotchas with this. When you start to search, make sure you have all selected when you are searching. Because down here under the categories, like for example, if I pick KPIs, these are only going to show me the key performance indicator visuals that are custom. And let's say I was looking for this really fun visual that, that I want to bring in today, which is called the Enlightened Aquarium. And if I go to search right now and I type in the Enlightened Aquarium, it's going to say, nope, it does not exist. But I know it exists. The reason it doesn't exist is because it's not a KPI uh, visual. So if I come on over and click all, and now I search for it, now it is showing up. So just one of those gotchas I've seen that people have struggled with because I've told uh, some people I've done some virtual mentoring with about a visual they went to search for, like, Matt, I can't find it. I always say, hey, make sure you're searching in the all section. So once you find a visual that you are interested in, if we click on that visual, we're going to get a little description about it, uh, the rating, the release date, etc. If we scroll down, we're going to see some more information, some other hyperlinks that take us out to it of FAQs. Um, more, you know, just extra details if you want to know about it. Now, this is one way of getting that custom visual. And I could simply click on add, which I'm going to do at this point. And you're going to see it's as simple as that. This visual is now part of this report. Here it is. There is my fish aquarium that we're about to showcase here in a second. And just like with any other visual in Power BI, I simply click on it, start bringing in the data I want to see the visualization built on, and we're good to go. Now, the other way to bring in this visual is going through the website. So let me show you how we can get to that website. So if we come on out here, 
and let me bring the website in. We have, this is right up here, let me show you this, it's appsource.microsoft.com. Um, one way that I normally will do this is I will just type into the Google search bar. I already have this bookmarked, but if I didn't have it bookmarked, I'd go to the Google search bar, uh, say Power BI Custom Visual Marketplace, uh, and this is the link that will pop up for me. And as you can see, there are 333 visuals currently as of today's recording, and this number continues to grow. And one of the nice benefits about doing it through here, if you find a visual uh, that you really like, when you click on it, so let's say we wanted to bring in this word cloud, we're gonna get a little bit more information than we did doing it through the Power BI desktop. Uh, sometimes it'll be a video with it. Uh, as you can see down here, we've got some videos, uh, more descriptions, more screenshots, even some, uh, you can play with the custom visual right here as well. So this is the other way to bring it in. So if, if I'm like, you know what, I like it, I simply hit get it now. So I'm gonna go get it now. We would have to sign in, which I'm not, so for brevity of this conversation, I'm not gonna sign in. And you might be saying, okay, well, how do you now bring that into the report? Because in the desktop, you just hit that add button and it was right there. Well, if you've downloaded this from the, uh, the web, when you go back into your report, when you hit this get more visuals, you're gonna go import a visual from a file. And then you'll go to wherever you save that file, you'll click on it, you'll say open, and then it brings it in right here. So what happens once we bring the visual in? Well, for right now, this visual is only a part of this report. So every future report that I open, I'm gonna have to go through this whole process. So once you find a visual you really enjoy and you like, you're like, I'm gonna use that quite often, and you don't wanna go through that whole process every time, what you'll do is you'll do a right click on the visual and you'll pin it to the visualizations pane. And when you do that, instead of my visual being down here in this little separate section, it will put the visual in your pre-baked visual, so to speak. So every future report that you open, every new report that you open, it will now be there. So that's how quick and easy it is to bring the visual in. So let me showcase to you how fun this visual is. At least I think it is fun. Again, not the most business savvy one, but I think you'll enjoy what I'm about to show you. So I'm gonna click on this fish visual. I'm gonna have it take up the rest of my screen over here. And then just like with anything, we could drag the fields over onto the visual to start populating it. I could as well just bring in the fields right here into my fields pane or visualizations pane into the fields well, or I could just put check marks next to them and then Power BI will figure out where they belong. So I'm gonna say I want the, my students to be my fish and I want the number of pesos to be the size of the fish. And so as we can see here, the bigger the peso size, the larger the fish is. And if you notice, I also have in here, Davis and Jack have negative pesos. And so a little bit of fun here. Here is uh, Davis has negative 200. And so that fish is floating upside down. With any custom visual you bring in, they also have formatting options. And so if I have my visual selected and I come on over into my visualizations pane and hit the format section, we have lots of different things. And so every visual is going to be different. So one of the things here that we can do with this Enlightened Aquarium visual uh, is I can change it from round fish. Let's say I wanna change it over to sharks. Uh, now I have sharks. I can even bring in a second series uh, as well. Every visual is going to be different. Now, most visuals are free. However, some visuals, you do have to pay some nominal fee in order to use it. Some visuals are free at first, but then if you want to get some of the extra features, that's when you have to pay that licensing fee. But uh, this is how you go out, bring in custom visuals, add a little bit more pizzazz to your report. Uh, and so it's a fairly easy process. Uh, I hope you enjoyed how to learn how to bring in custom visuals into your report. If you like the Enlightened Aquarium, that's great. I, uh, you know, again, it's just a lot of fun. My students would have really enjoyed it. Uh, something we can we use here at Pragmatics with our team when we're uh, valuing certain metrics and just having a little bit of competition uh, within the organization. So please like, subscribe below. Let me know in the comments anything else that you would like more explanations on for the future, whether it be Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate. We're always wanting to pump out uh, content to you to make sure that we uh, can give you as much information as, as needed to help you along whatever process you were trying to, uh, to accomplish. I'll see you in the next video.